Hello everybody and welcome back to the Director of Football Sabotage with Livorno. Now in today's episode we are going to be facing PSV in the Champions League group stage. But of course we've got fixtures to review since the last time we met. So the last time we met was of course the defeat against Manchester City in the opening game of the Champions League group stage. But we followed that up with a 1-0 away win at Croton Mamarella getting himself a goal in this game and what was a pretty tight game. Next up was against AC Milan. They were top of the league at the time of playing and we were in second place. They took the lead incredibly early on through Andrea Silva in the fourth minute. And to be honest with you, for the rest of the game, it looked like pretty much we were going to get beat. And then Zach scored in the 91st and then Claudio got a penalty in the 95th and slotted it away. Two substitutes coming off, off the bench, getting two goals and somehow we went top with this win. We then played Barcelona in the other Champions League group stage game that you've missed. And we drew 1-1 surprisingly, but I am a little disappointed. We did absolutely dominate this game in terms of chances, but unfortunately we couldn't make them pay. They went ahead through Kai Havertz in the 23rd minute. Mamarella got himself a goal in the 46th to equalise, but we couldn't make our advantage pay. And a draw was all it was. Worst result of the lot was away at newly promoted Navarro. We just could not get any goals or anything going in this match. And unfortunately, it ended up nil-nil. And finally, before we play PSV today, this was the final game against Sassuolo at home. Belangiuoli gave us the lead in the 40th minute and Mamarella got himself another goal in the 56th minute to give us the 2-0 win. And this is how the league table looks after that run of fixtures. We sit top one point clear from Inter Milan in second place. But by no means are we running away with this, although we are still the uh, undefeated. Us and Roma are the only teams to be undefeated so far. We're only four points clear of Juventus in fifth. So this is how we're going to line up for today's game against PSV. Dullo will start in goal. Balanzioli, Kovacs, Rada and Fick in defence. Carpano is still recovering from a little bit of an injury. Nothing too major. Drian, Crociati and Milenkovic in the centre. Crociati is our young Italian who I brought in. I want to give more game time so he's starting today. Banga in attack and midfield with Mamarella and Zach leading the line. So PSV were our main rivals for the third place spot going into this league campaign but obviously they absolutely demolished PSV uh, Barcelona in the opening game of this group stage to throw it wide open so I'm not too sure what I expect from them whether we'll be the dominant side or not but we'll play it out and we'll see what goes on. It's taken half an hour to get our first highlight of the game but we are in possession high up the pitch. We sort of give the ball away and Banger takes a strike and he hits the woodwork. Can Fick keep it alive? He can't. It goes out for a corner which will probably lead to nothing. Another highlight in the 37th minute this time. We are again going down this right hand side. Hopefully we can build something from the midfield if the opportunity arises. Banger slipped that through for Fick. That was such a poor ball. Give it straight back but Fick gets back and wins it back well for us. And the long ball over the top by Rada. Zach's in behind and Zach gets his fourth goal of the season. A long kick over the defence are they overpowered on FM because I always see us kicking the ball over the top and somehow our strikers are getting on the end of it their defence completely mishits that first time finished by Zach great finish great pass and 1-0 up so as things stand we would actually go in second position in this group which will be fantastic well that's the end of the first half we'll kick off for the second shooting from left to right this time and if we can hold on to this it will be a great great result Man City and Barca look like they're drawn in their game so the from second to fourth everything is tightly packed about 25 minutes or so to go we will make some changes to keep things fresh we'll bring on Robert Martinez and Ivanovic for our two wing backs obviously that's one of the key areas where our players get quite tired because they are expected to defend well and get in attacking positions when needed highlight now coming down this right hand side once again Ivanovic is on it for us playing high up the pitch cross the yard he gets the ball in Zach's there he should be put he should be putting that on target at the very least Nine minutes to go, we are going to make another final change and I am going to take off Mamarella and we'll get Darian Schmidt on for him to see if he can get himself a goal. Another highlight this time, it's a corner by Milenkovic. Kovacs is there, gets cleared by the PSV defence book. Come and get this ball back in. Well, can't, it might be a break. Absolute ton of space for PSV here and he gets in behind and that should probably be 1-1. Martinez with a big kick over the top and Zach has beat his man. He's in behind. Zach, put it on target. You should have a hat-trick. This is, looks like it'll be the final highlight of the game. Milenkovic just plays the ball in from the corner and the keeper claims. And the ball goes out of play and there it is. Full time. Livorno won PSV nil. An absolutely fantastic performance by us. Probably should have had a couple of more goals to our name. 
but we'll take the three points any which way they come. I was a little bit scared of PSV after they beat Barcelona in the opening game. But after that win, that sees us sitting in second position in the table. Two, uh, one point ahead of PSV, three points ahead of Barcelona. But of course we do have them in an away tie coming forward. We'll just check the rest of the schedule actually. We've got PSV next away from home. Then uh, Man City at home. And then Barcelona away in the final game. So looking forward to the next episode. It will be against Barcelona. The final group, games, uh, group game of the group stage. To see if we can either qualify from this group. Which I find highly unlikely. Or at the very least uh, get third place. Which is what I'm aiming for. And obviously if we go out of the group stage in the Champions League. And get into the Europa League knockouts. I think we might actually be able to do some damage in that competition. Rather than staying in the Champions League. Obviously I prefer to go to the Champions League knockouts. Even if it's just for the financial benefits that that would bring. But in terms of actually getting somewhere in a competition. The Europa League might be the better option. Uh, just to show you some other quick other stuff that you might not see otherwise. We're improving our youth and training facilities all the time. I think our data and analysis facilities have been upgraded about five times already. So we are getting there in terms of the club structure. Our reputation now is national three and a half star. I would expect that to go up next season after playing in the continental competition. Some things you might not have seen before either. In terms of our media prediction, we are predicted to finish in ninth place this season. We are qualified for We are classed as a rich club, which is absolutely fantastic. I am only on favoured personnel. I mean, however, me and Andrea Gasparro are the only ones in. Albertazzi is listed as an icon. Congrats to him. Belanzioli is listed as a legend. Oh man, that makes it even worse. Not starting him. <laughs> so in terms of our facilities now, we do have excellent training facilities and great youth facilities. We do have below average data analysis facilities. So God, it must have started. We mustn't have had any when I first started this. So uh, I'm glad we're getting all these sorted out. Extensive youth recruitment, adequate junior coaching. I might need to see if I can get that upped by any at any point. In terms of our stadium, we do have a 20,000 all seater stadium, 18,785 capacity used in normal matches. Our average attendance by capacity is at 97%. So we're getting there to the point where I might be able to either request for them to extend the stadium or to actually build a new one. But anyway, that's enough from me. Our next episode will be the Barcelona game and we'll find out where we fall at the second half of this season. So if you have enjoyed today's video, please consider leaving a like and if you enjoy my content, get yourself subscribed. But until next time, take it easy.